Welcome to this week's Philip Capital Weekly Market Watch. We saw the recent plunge in equity. At the same time, Treasuries led a rally in government bonds on concern that the US economy recovery is faltering. Should investors be investing in bonds or equities at the moment? We have Mr. Liang Shiping, investment analyst from Philip Securities, to tell us more. So, Shiping, how do you explain the recent volatility in the global equities? We think the volatility in the market we are seeing right now can be attributed to the mixed signals coming from the US Fed Reserve. A um, couple of weeks ago, Mr. Ben Bernanke told everyone of a much favorable macro picture that rising demand from um, households and in businesses should help to sustain growth. And the growth in real consumer spending is likely to pick up along with gains in income and um, improving credit conditions. However, the most recent FOMC statement implied an economy that was in turmoil and necessary for further interventions. So with factors such as high unemployment, modest income growth or even lower housing wealth thrown in. As such, the signal from the US Fed Reserve is actually a very confusing one. Do we see more upcoming quantitative easing? Yes, we do think that the US Fed Reserve and other major central banks will be open to further quantitative easing. There are a few leading indicators which suggest that the recovery is peaking and a slowdown in growth. If you look at the OECD composite leading indicators on the global front, leading economies like um, US, China and UK and more concerning countries such as Russia and Brazil are actually expected to be below trend growth in coming months. In fact, the ECRI weekly indicator is suggesting that US itself is vulnerable to another period of negative growth. Are you suggesting there will be a double dip? Not necessarily, but the near-term equity outlook is a bearish one. We think that the current situation right now is what people call balance sheet recession. In short, we think that monetary policy and fiscal policy had hit the bottleneck. The 80% rally in global equities during a time of unprecedented government intervention in 2009 is over. The private sector is learning how to swim without a life vest now, with the withdrawal of all stimulus plans. So companies are likely to struggle, but I don't think we will see a significant double dip. Where should investors be investing then? Investors can consider parking their money in high quality bonds at the moment. We think interest rates are likely to stay low if we do see upcoming quantitative easing. The recent rally in long-dated bonds will continue to be backed by ongoing recovery worries. Nevertheless, we do look out for Asian equities if the current correction does bring us to a favorable valuation level. In particular, earnings growth in Southeast Asia equities for the second quarter this year has been strong and the longer-term outlook remains positive. Buying into a bond fund or uh, Asia equity funds are ways to gain exposure in this case. Thank you, Shubing. That's all we have for you today. Till next week for more market updates.